Hey everyone, hope, hope you're all having a good start to your new year. Uh, I've spent the last two weeks of uh, 2018, or the first two weeks of 2018, with a bit of a flu. Um, it started just shortly before I got the uh, uh, stomp rocket uh, put out there, but uh, but anyway, my, my plan was to start 2018 with, uh, you know, trying to get out as many uh, videos as I can. And right now I'm not feeling up to making a video. Uh, but what I do have is I have a video from last year, uh, I believe it was in August, where I made a, uh, a bird feeder. Um, and uh, I hadn't posted it because I kind of took a break from uh, YouTube for a little while. To see what was happening with all that algorithm stuff. Excuse me. Anyway, <laughs> that being said, I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Welcome back to Tree Creations. I'm Jerry Paul and today we're going to make a bird feeder out of some 2x8s, well 2x8 chunks, chunks of 2x8, and a uh, little parmesan shaker, you know, the manufactured cheese stuff. Anyway, let's get to that. Alright, for this one I'm going to use a faceplate. And looks like I've got it lined up pretty good there. So I'll grab some 3 quarter inch screws. And this is going to be the top of the, uh, the base of the bird feeder. Let's turn it on and see how balanced we are here. Mighty fine. It should be just about right. Let's see. I'm going to use my little craftsman spindle gouge or uh, bowl gouge. Okay, still got a little bit of lines there. That means. Uh, not quite flat yet, so I'm going to flatten that out. And I just kind of indented there as to where I want my uh, mortise to be. Nice. Okay, I'll gouge out that mor or, uh, mortise a little bit more and uh, yeah, make the bowl. coming along nice. I'm gonna get my uh, bigger bowl gouge for this. See if that'll make it uh, a, little, a little quicker. There we go. Boy, I tell you what, those birdies better appreciate what I'm doing for them. <laughs> Almost got the shape I want. I'll clean that up just a little bit more. <laughs> this is what I'm getting covered with. <laughs> That's lovely. Look at that. 
Beautiful. Okay. Now, I'm not going to work too hard on sanding that down, but I do want to get those two lines out. It's still going to be in my yard. I want it to look a little bit good. <laughs> I'm going to sand that down a little bit, and then we'll flip it around. A little tip I have for sanding anything with wings. This is a tube out of one of my um, paper rolls, paper towel rolls. And uh, this is going to be my finger protector. Because I'm turning with these wings, i got a lot of open space here. And I just want to have a little bit more of a firm pad. And uh, that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to fold that up in. I'm just using some 120, and as that comes around, it won't, uh, won't be so hard on my fingers. There we go, got that sanded now. I'm not going nuts, I just went to 120. Um, good enough for the birds, I'm sure of it. Uh, and like I said, this is going to be sitting outside in the yard. I think I may end up giving it a coat of uh, maybe mineral oil or something, just to pre preserve it for a little extra longer, you know. Um, this is going to get worn and torn out in the elements. But, you know, it's going to look natural. And that's what I want. Well, natural-ish, you know, considering it's con construction lumber. <laughs> I just noticed my mortise looks a little bit shallow, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a little more depth. That should be plenty. Now I'm gonna flip it around. Okay, so let me describe to you what I'm doing here. Um, I want to dish this out, but what I want to do is I want to have a lip. Here, let me just bring the tool rest up here real quick. I want to have a lip. Uh, yeah, probably about there. And on top of that, what I'm going to do is this is going to be a dome covering the uh, covering the uh, where the food lands. This is going to be the dish where the food lands. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to come down, just kind of dish this out a little bit, and leave this proud, and then dish out in the middle, make more of a more of a bowl in the middle, so that uh, when I put the dome over top of it. Um, the dome's going to have holes in it for the birds to stick their beaks into, or their heads. Actually, I might bring that lip out a little more. Let's see how it goes. I'm just going uh, bit by bit here. I don't really have a plan. It's kind of how I run my life. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Carrying on. Oh, that's coming along nicely, yeah. Alright, I'm going to start working on the inside. And I want these walls to go down, um, like straight down for, uh, for about a quarter of an inch, so I have something to securely glue the dome onto it with. Hmm, yeah, something like that. But first I'll bowl it out a little bit here. That's coming along. Huh. That looks good enough. It's really thick on the bottom, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Um, I don't want the food going too deep that they can't, uh, you know, reach the ends of it. Just gonna flatten out the sides of this uh, mortise that I've made here. Yeah, that should be just fine. I'm gonna clean that up too a little bit, just on the rim. I think I got that sanded down as much as I need to. I'm going to take this out now, and we'll start working on the, uh, the dome. Alright, I got this mounted up, and uh, I was marking out the tenon that goes in... Yeah, I was marking out the tenon that goes into the bottom of the bowl. Um, but then I realized I actually want to do the top of this, uh, this dome first. 
Um, so yeah, is that gonna work? I don't know. I think what's actually gonna happen is I'm gonna run into screws if I do it this way. Yeah, I'll start the top, I'll, I'll get the dome shape in. Because what I have to do here, here's what I have to do. <laughs> explain this to you here. Because I gotta explain it to myself in my head here. So really what I've gotta do is, I'm, I'm using this in here to hold this. And if this is the top of the, uh, I'm just going to use the uh, the hole here as my uh, mortise to use my expandable uh, four-jaw chuck to hold it in place while I gouge out the rest of the bottom and, and do the finishing work on it. That's what I'm going to do. So the first thing I have to do is find a way to get this in there because I want to use the plastic threads. And I also have to cut off these little flaps. I don't need them. And they'll just be in my way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a... Uh, hole big enough to hold this. I'm going to secure this into place while I cut off the top and then I'll start shaping the dome a little bit but not so much that I'm going to run into the screws and then I'll turn it around put it into the four jaw chuck and uh, finish it at that point. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. flattened out. Now let's establish the, uh, the cap. I'm just going to use my calipers here. Yeah, it should be close. I'm going to cut it small and then nibble up to where I need to be. So let's get this in place. Perfect. So let's dig that out a little bit. See if we can't fit this uh, cap in there. It's a bit. Yeah, it's almost. It's really tight right now, but that's okay. That's what I want. Not that tight though. Just need a. Just a sniff off of there. Just a little sniffle. A little really bitty sniffle and it fit perfect. I just kind of tapered it. Just really rough cuts here. <laughs> well, this isn't going to be... I'm going to fill that up with... Uh, probably I'm thinking hot glue would be the best way to secure this in here. I don't want these little holes in here. I don't need them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my sanding lathe here <laughs> and I'm just going to sand around the perimeter to uh, to get that top part off. I think it'll work. Now that we got the threads cut, or sanded, <laughs> um, I'm going to mark with my pencil, which is right here actually, huh. Where the, oops. I just want to uh, go in a little further because uh, this is going to uh, tell me where the where the bottom of the bowl is. Sort of. I don't know. You'll see what I'm doing. Okay, now I'm going to start shaping the, uh, the dome top.
Well, at this point, I'm kind of getting in the danger zone of hitting those screws. Well, not quite, but getting close. If you take a look at this, uh, where is it? Yeah. Let me just grab my pencil here. I'm just going to draw a line there. There. That's how big the tenon on the bottom is going to be, so that's how much more I have to take off of this dome. Screws. Say so this guy is about here. Three quarter inch screws. So that would mean. Hmm. Okay, well. Let's see how we do here. Let's see how the caliber is. <coughs> I'm gonna figure this out. I'll be back. I've come up with a solution. Here's my solution. And now the four remaining, remaining screws should be plenty to hold this in place. Now I'm going to leave uh, about a quarter of an inch. All right. Well, I'm going to leave a bit anyway at the uh, at the other side here because I don't want to run into my faceplate at all.